I'm on board the 1983 Honda Goldwing and in this video we are going to be talking about the top 10 things that are going to change in your life once you become a motorcyclist. Let's get started. Number 10, the sense of freedom that a motorcycle provides. It's no doubt that once you get a motorcycle you'll feel like you're a superhero. You'll see all of these guys wearing different costumes. It's just not a costume. It is a superpower. Except your only superpower might be the finding the best tackle stands within the road. It's still quite a nice superpower to have. Number nine, your commutes finally become fun again. Remember when you were driving a car? Yeah, they were boring. You almost wanted to kill yourself. With a motorcycle, commuting becomes fun again. Imagine this, going over speed bumps. It's just not a torture thing, it's fun on a motorcycle. Dodging potholes becomes a video game. You're gonna enjoy it. Number eight, enhanced awareness. That's right, as a motorcycle rider, you gain the superpowers of enhanced awareness. That is, when you're able to tell what other people are going to be doing. It's as if you're anticipating their moves. You learn what they're going to be doing. It's like a tell. When you're riding down the highway, you see cars slightly moving. You know that they're about to switch lanes without using their blinkers. They have a tell. As a motorcyclist, you become hyper aware of things around you. And it becomes a superpower after a while. You get to start anticipating and predicting things ahead of time. Number seven, the instant camaraderie that happens with motorcycle riders. Riding a motorcycle is just not riding a motorcycle. It's getting a few million friends all at the same time. You will be trading stories with other riders about their close calls with minivans in no time. It brings everybody together. It's a club. It's what? You just got a motorcycle and you got no friends? Well, you got a friend and his name is Squid. Oh, on the element. Nice. Number six, you increase your maintenance skills. When you were driving a car, you barely did any maintenance. You took your car to the shop, they changed the oil, but as a motorcycle rider, you become much more interested in, in maintenance. Not only that, you even purchased the Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, hoping that you would learn about motorcycle maintenance, but only to find out that it's not about motorcycle maintenance. But all of a sudden, you have a knack for repairing a motorcycle. You begin little by little to repair bikes and help your other friends repair their own bikes. You're not taking it to shops anymore like you did your car. Number five, economical transportation. That's right, no one can argue that riding a motorcycle is economical. It's less gas, things cost less. Who cares that you spend half of your salary on motorcycle parts that you don't really need? Number four, you get closer to nature. That's right, being on a motorcycle, you basically get poured on you get to, actually I almost died here because of a tornado. If it rains, you get wet. If it snows, well, you might die. If it's freezing, yeah, you're gonna get shrinkage. That's right. It's like your own personal outdoor spa. Number three, confidence boost. If you're uh, like me, you are never that confident, but riding a motorcycle gives you a little bit of that weak confidence. It's, as a motorcyclist, you kind of get these superhero powers. Except you don't need a cape. You just get like a nice leather outfit and you're pretty much set. Number two, it's a thrill seeker's paradise. Imagine this, you go around this corner and you go around and you're like, you have to guess, oh, is the, the road clear? Is any car coming the opposite way? Is there gravel? It's like you're always guessing if you're gonna die. That's right, riding a motorcycle is like being on a roller coaster every single day. 
if you like cheap thrills, man, motorcycling is the right thing for you. You just fill your bike with gas and you just go out into a roller coaster. And you don't even need to be a certain height to ride it. Number one. That's right, number one. Number one, you start to get a whole different perspective on life. You start to look at things as in, oh, the straightaway I can hit 100 miles an hour. You start to look for twisties, curvy roads, mountain roads. A river doesn't mean that you're going to go fishing. It just basically means there's going to be an awesome road nearby. A mountain, awesome twisties. You start to raid roads based on how twisty they are. Every trip is an adventure now. You look at gravel and you go, ah, I want to get an adventure bike. I want to ride that gravel road. That's right. It completely changes your perspective on life. You don't look at things the same. Well, guys, with great torque comes great responsibility. You yield about a thousand horses beneath you. So take care. Keep the rubber side down, of course, stay safe. And I'll see you on the next ride. Thanks for coming along. guy are you kidding why would you pull in front of me right about now what is this <laughs>